for today's brief RPG a Day 2020 video. We have our dog Bodie, a golden retriever, who you've seen before on the channel, and the pool. She loves to swim, and she can entertain herself endlessly. And this is a fantastic ro uh, metaphor for roleplay. There are a lot of people out there who can just by, you know, improvising dialogue and interactions with their fellow players have a fantastic time. Either totally alone, like in solo play, or interacting with others. That's what this fetching is about. Now, you'll notice that I'm moving, and there's a reason for that. Right? We're fetching. Interestingly, she'll never fetch for me on dry land. She'll only fetch in the water. All right, so I've thrown things out. I'm the game master. That's my gambit. She didn't take that gambit. Let's see if she'll take this one. Yeah, that was interesting. That was interesting. She's enjoying getting along with it. Okay, so I'm here. Right? I want her to bring it to me. And I'm prepared. And I'm, ex I'm excited. And she's excited. And there we go. She swallowed some water. All right. Then we're back into the action. She's entertaining herself again. I'm having fun. She's having fun. But she's having fun by herself, right? So I get her attention, right? I put out my improvisation or my idea or I set a scene, something along those lines. And she's having some difficulty getting a grip on it because it's maybe a little different than what she expects. Oh, the ball got trapped underneath her body. It's right there. Look. But then she finds that old one. Oh, now she's decided what she's going to do. Right? So there's a lot of, let's say, juggling involved with role play and interacting with each other, either as, as two players or the player who is the game master and the player who is running a character. And you'll notice we keep coming back to this corner. All right? Now she's developed, let's say, a habit, a bias, or... Uh, an interest in a certain type of role play. So I'm going to get her attention. And she goes for it. Right? Come on. And will she bring it to me or will she go to that corner? In between. She's in between. So I'm going to meet her halfway. Right? I'm going to meet her halfway. I'm going to throw it out again and see if she'll go for it again. And now, of course, the army flies over. Air Force. Great timing, Air Force. But while we've been having all this fun with this player, one of our other players is just kind of waiting for someone to throw the ball to them, hoping to interact. But this one's demanding all the attention. What am I supposed to do? I've got one in the pool, one who's immersing themselves in character, and the other one who's still kind of outside that boundary or gate but is still just as enthusiastic about play and would love to be involved somehow as a member of this group not specifically as the game master not specifically as an outgoing player or a peacemaker or something like that but as a member of the group somehow we need to find a way to find the right game to find the right way to play to find the right environment so that everything comes together for collaboration, improvisation, implementation, fun decision-making, and just generally fun. Otherwise, you end up tossing balls in one direction and handing balls in another direction and hoping that something fun will happen. And that's a lot more work than fun. All right, we have been looking at the topic of comfort and how we, as members of a group, can work together to ensure comfort and familiarity with the skill of playing the game. All right, until tomorrow.